friends at this amazing view. I wonder who it is that is living up here. We should be able to go there. Where is it on the map? It's down in this direction, somewhere over here I guess. We need to go down here eventually anyway, anyways, but for now we need to go up here. Uh, it's very late for me, uh, it's almost midnight, but I have a beer to finish. By the way, speak to this trader here. Uh, so I figure why not take a short episode and, and finish the beer before I go to bed. Alright, what did you want to discuss? You're an outlander, which is good, but a Nora, which might be bad. Do you fear the ruins of the old ones like many in your tribe? No, although some can be dangerous. Then you may have come across what I seek. In your travels, have you found strange vessels emblazoned with symbols of the old ones? They consist of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends. If you bring me these vessels in sets of four, I will gladly trade what I have for them. More about you. So you're interested in the old ones? More than interested. I study every ancient artifact I can get my hands on. But years of study have made me too comfortable at my desk. I can't even bear the sun if the truth be known. I don't know how I'll manage to take a partner. My family presses me for an heir. Uh, don't look at me. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not looking. In fact, my father already has someone he wants me to wed. She doesn't interest me. I wish I had a brother to carry this burden. I would rather be left to my precious little vessels. Ritual vessels? What sort of ritual were these vessels made for? I'm convinced they were used in conjunction with each other in sets. Some people believe they were used for tea ceremonies. Others think they held sacred essences and oils for worship. But I believe they were used for the solemn custom of shaving one's beard. One for water, one for lotion, and so on. Each fluid in its special vessel, majestically applied to the face at each stage of the rite. It must have been breathtaking. But which vessel was used for which? I have to know. I have to continue my research. Are you sure people didn't just drink out of them? Drink? Out of such finely crafted earthenware? Don't be ridiculous! I think we have two of those at this point. Not entirely sure. Yes, yes. Trade quickly. I have work to do. Uh, okay, so he sells... Treasure chests, basically. Karja Trader Token, okay. We have one. I thought we had two. Oh, look at that. Map metal flowers. A neutrary um, botanist map adds map markers hinting at the locations where metal flowers might be seen. Let's take all of these, why not? They're not expensive. Buy back. Okay. I will leave you to the hunt. Be sure to delve into the ruins. What do my tired eyes see? A Check hunt, sure. Wares. Now let's l take a look at the map, see what we can find. Yeah, here we have metal flowers. We have Banco figure. We have a coffee mug. We have Vantage, no idea what that is. 
have some stuff over here. This map just got <laughs> very much more busy. Nice! We might be taking care of that in the future. And uh, now... I want us to go... Where are we? We're over here. This is the closest one. We don't really... We have one behind us and we have one in front of Come, us. Talk to me a moment. The one in behind us is this one. Let's start there, by talking to him. Just a moment of your top You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Thief? Tell me about the robber's valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Sword? Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. Nephew? How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll investigate. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. Okay, robbing the rich. So, let's take this one, because it's here. Talk to the steward. Which is this guy, I guess? This is two. Yeah, let's talk to him. You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see? Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in grey, clutching the sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. Okay. So he jumped out through the window. This window? Find better wares. Don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. The longer this split with the shadow Only the finest lasts, goods here. The See for more yourself. Prices will go up. Doesn't look like it. Or the ah, it's this window. The thief broke the lattice on the way out. And some blood. Drops of blood leaving the way. This trail ends here. Hmm. Someone must have seen it. Check out these wares. I hate that stuff. Won't find better wares. Would you like to buy something today? These goods. Did someone run past here holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. I'll give you a good price. Okay. Fine goods for a fair price. Don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. Yeah, I agree with that. No sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by.
Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah. Almost crashed into me, too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way he'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword, though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop-off. Okay, so we need to go back up to the merchant. Looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for shining light in the darkness, so what else? It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it. Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. <sighs> but all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay. I guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. A lot of running in this episode, <laughs> that's for sure. Mm. Ah, okay. That's what we needed to do. And now I guess we wait. Possibly. Can't get much hotter. I hope. Something is coming closer. Come on. Thank you. So, we need to go to the water mill, we need to talk to the people down there, and see what they have to say. Campfire discovered, good. I like that. Means that we should be at the bottom. Basically, now. Good. Don't ask me where to go if you're lost. A guard, not the town crier. I've got all the best goods here. I've got all the these aren't goods. They're necessities. Won't find better ways for a fair price. We have something down here too. Okay. Let's trigger this one so we don't have to go back. Metal bot here. Good prizes. Fair prizes. He snarls upside. She's not interested in taxes. I know what she's not interested in. As I was saying. No better offer for snap ball lenses. I'd give my oath on it. By the sun, don't start spitting in your palm. Huntress, I apologize on behalf of my partner. Silent partner. Silent partner? If the sun would only grant my prayers. Never mind snap more lenses, Huntress. There's no market for those. A long leg lens, though, you'd be well rewarded for. Which pot is it that you want? So which... Uh... No market for a snap ma lens is good, strong stuff. You can hammer it into anything. Where do you think we are? Some trading post with sawdust on the floor? This is Meridian. We have culture. 
I know culture. Just the other day, I was watching the hunting trials. Oh, great sun, lend me the strength of midday. The sun's baked your head if you think we'll shift long leg lenses at a time like this. I'm standing here. Uh, hello? I've told you as many times as the spire is tall, craft and artisanship is who we are. Craft doesn't win a war or keep the machines from your farms. What you need is good, old-fashioned, plain... Oh, yes. Old-fashioned, plain, hammered work. If ever something glittered, you'd throw it back. If Karja had built that elevator, they would have stopped at a good-looking shaft. All those years of delving, and you never found a sense of humor. Enough. Enough! Well? They're a blunt people, the Nora. Why do you two even work together if you can't agree on anything? <sighs> it's a symbolic gesture. No tithes to the Sun Court, like I said in the beginning, Renine. Just... just tell me which part you want. A long leg lens. A snap ma lens. Fine. I can see that you're busy. Wait, wait! You drove her off. Snap ma lens, what do you say? I drove her off. <laughs> That's rich. Listen, Huntress, long leg lens. Hunters, scroungers, bring oh. Demand a supply. Two arguing uh, metal buyers in Meridian Village will pay reward for rare machine parts. Okay, so we need to gather one long leg lens and one snap more lens. Nice. Scroungers? What kind of brutes are you? Quite far These in this direction. Necessities. This. Where do we need to go? Do we have any medicinal herbs over here? Oh, useful. Doesn't really look like it. Yeah, this should be a medicinal. Nice. And I guess that's basically it. Let's continue. That's fun. Thank you. No, oh, that's not really sad. Let's skip those. This is where we need to go. I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. Mm, collect valuable objects? You mean you steal? If you want to call it that. From hogs who've had their turn at the trough for generations. Ravon didn't seem like a hog to me. He stinks just like the rest of them. Of wealth and contentment. While people beneath him suffer. The needy at Sunfall? Who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat. Or bandage their wounds. They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. They starved to death, still bound together. I'm... I'm sorry. So am I. Mm, sword? Where's the sword now? Safe. I haven't sold it yet. So what now? What do you expect me to do now? They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner, Nassan, disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. 
I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there. But be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. Meridian. Okay. I couldn't imagine living anywhere else. So we need to go 1500 meters. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna wait with that one. <laughs> I am going to take that one in a while. Uh, let's go. Set the marker here. Up there, elevator should be in this direction. Then, do we have any? No, doesn't look like it. This looks like the elevator. Would you like to buy something today? First, don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. Check out these doors. Noise. Taking a sip of my beer. Now we can deselect you for now. Wow, that was a very bothering sound. <laughs> Not nice to hear at all. So we should be out there. Noise. Now. Are these the stairs up? We had a couple of question um, exclamation marks up here. We have one here, for example. Yonora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sun Ring? Oh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well, I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander. Then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices. Not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. Obstacles? Uh, what kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asaram who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. The shrine was built there to ward off the machines, its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb. A call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Glindhawk's perched there. Drawn to the spire's shining. So, clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. Mm. 
rituals? Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No. But it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the Red Raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. New sun priests? You're disappointed with the sun priests, but you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried. In the end. He said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least, they hang heavy. Your brother? Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For a priest to question the Sun King's will, his punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved, too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. Bye bye. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. Honor the fallen. Uh, so. This one, this quest is still active, so we have to leave it. If we take you, actually, I want to go to the map. We have one here, one here, and one here, together with a vantage, with a flower. This must be the pool with the snap moss, because we have one here. We have one down here. Okay. That is something that we will do in the next episode. That might be a good length of episode actually to be honest. So. I will go and save. And then that is going to be it for today I think two exclamation marks over here but I don't think we have anything more up here now perhaps we do let's go and talk to this person over here who is that able-bodied adventurers preferably with no oh there outlander names Vilgun did you come to the city looking for work Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your... Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant a, a well-molded woman such as you. <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuke camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To, just investigate, that's all. Those Banuk are canny. Too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. Tell me more about this rumor. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> The last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. <laughs> You're a smart one. 
This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuk there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl, I'm not made of straw. The Banuk? What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban Ur, in the ice. Trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm put... <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. You're a merchant? Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Mm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <clears throat> All right, more of an opportunist. Uh, girl, uh, Nora girl, <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities, risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right. I'm more of a gambler. Uh, what do you need? If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. <laughs> it's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. <clears throat> the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well... You can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. Okay. A moment's peace. Very far away. I think this is going to be in the um, DLC area. I really hope not. That would bug me so much. But basically, yeah. It's... <laughs> It's on the other side of the map. Why do they place it so far away? That's so stupid. Okay, now we have... I didn't buy it. I'm gonna have to try to find it. But we have this, like, ultimate... Uh, ultimate, I guess you say, in English. Um, pack for um, traveling. Where, where are you? Twelve... Can I interest away? you in a reasonable share of a lucrative opportunity? So now it's gonna be a little bit better to uh, fast travel, I guess. Instead of trying to find, like, You need to win three half-sons at our hunting grounds to gain admittance to the lodge. You mean these? Very well, then. Congratulations, and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No, you're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor. And I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs, present yourself to the sun hawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. Okay, perhaps we should wait with this one. I really need to pause. It's she is the exclamation mark. Okay. Yeah, I'll wait with that and I'll take care of it next time. I want to select... Uh, this one is the one we will do in the next episode. Now let's talk to her while we're here, why not? It's only a few minutes. By the sun! King Avad's edict really is taking effect. 
Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. So, you have marks for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right. You're new here. Edict? What edict? King Avad insisted that the Hunter's Lodge had to welcome everyone. Man, woman, outlander, regardless of tribe. Ursa, captain of the Vanguard, came in and delivered that news personally. You should have been there. It was glorious. But I figured they would sweep it under the rug and say no woman or outlander qualified. Yet here you are. Are you a member? Are you a member? Me? No. Karja don't exactly encourage their daughters to run around hunting machines. But all the changes in Meridian have been good to me. I don't think the Osaram know how to sell to us Karja. The trader I worked for last couldn't sell flowers to a bee. He was too plain hammered, as they like to say. This is a much better job. I figure I'll be able to open my own shop soon enough. Marks? What do you want with my marks? You hunters and your badges. I'm not gonna take them. I'm going to give you a weapon that sets you apart. Yeah, I thought that'd get your attention. If you earn marks in all three trials at each of the five hunting grounds, come to me. I can give you up to three weapons. One for 15 half suns, one for 15 full suns, and one you'll love for all blazing suns. Whoa. Now that's interesting. If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a Hunter's Lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. I'm a little short on marks. No problem. Once you have marks from all 15 trials, you'll be able to get the next Hunter's Lodge weapon from me. Outlanders hate the card. Hmm. So we have three half suns, three full suns, and one blazing sun, okay. This one is a quest that I very much doubt that I will be able to complete, to be honest. This one up here was very tricky. And it felt like it was bugged out or something because I really could. I, I did what I was supposed to do, but I really couldn't do it. Uh, let's select again. So, what's this? Bandit camps. But didn't we clear this out? Talk to. Oh, crap! We didn't talk to Neil. It's 10,000 XP. Are you serious? Okay, I'm gonna go back outside the recording. I will go back and I will talk to him and clear this up. You're not gonna have to follow me on that one. It's way up there. Okay, that's fine. I'll I'll do that. I'll do that. Uh, okay. Now I will go and save, and then it's time for me to go to bed. I thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Take care. And as always, I see you next time.